Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Dylan here. We have an incredible video for you guys today from former First Lady Melania Trump and, God willing, potential future First Lady Melania Trump as well. Let's see what happens uh, come this upcoming election. I think after the debate we can see that uh, things are looking very, very good for both Donald Trump and Melania Trump securing a second term in the White House, all right? So before we jump into this new update from Melania Trump, we're gonna read the Bible because God comes first, amen? Comment amen down below if you believe that, all right? This is Psalm 20. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice, Salah. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. Let the king hear us when we call. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let's call on God. Let's remember to all collectively as a community, call on the Lord for help, especially when we need it most, which we can all, I think it's all safe to say that we need God right now, all right? We don't need material goods. We don't need consumerism. We don't need these false prophets, these false gods, these materialistic items. We need God, all right? Let's not worship money. Let's not worship fear. Let's not worship, you know, certain things of this world. Let's worship God. Amen? All right, my friends, thank you so much for all of your messages, all of your comments. I've been reading all of them, and I'm blown away that there's literally been thousands of you, and I've been you know, scrolling through my phone, reading them, and I... You know, I've been dealing with this medical issue. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I took two months off and I'm I'm back. I'm trying my best, I'm trying my best. Thank you, I appreciate you guys so much for, um, you know, being with me and being patient and um, being here. And I, I'm so happy that you guys are all here as soon as I, I return, so thank you. Okay, let's dive into this update, shall we? So Melania Trump has been in the news a lot lately and they're kind of trying to attack her and take her down, but she and Donald Trump have been coming back and doubling down even harder. And even Joe Biden took a stab at Melania Trump during the debate. And I wanna share this, Trump response, Trump does not. You do not mess around, Joe Biden, when you talk bad about Donald Trump's wife. You know, like Will Smith said, keep my wife's name out your mouth. <laughs> That's pretty much, well, let's let's watch. President Trump, President Biden, you have said, I'm coming right to you, sir. You, well, you wanna respond? Biden's like, wait, where, where are we? Where, what are we talking about? Where's my ice cream? I'll give you a minute to respond. The idea that I did anything wrong relative to what you're talking about is outrageous. It's simply a lie, number one. Joe Biden looks like he just got out of the retirement center. He's lost. The idea that I've ever done anything wrong. I feel like he just got diarrhea down, dripping down his leg. Outrageous. It's simply a lie, number one. Number two, the idea that you have a right to seek retribution against any American just because you're president is wrong. It's simply wrong. No president's ever spoken like that before. No president in our history has spoken like that before. Number three, the crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for, for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant? I mean, what, what are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. The morals of an alley cat? Joe. I'm sorry, but dude, 
I don't, do you even know what an alley cat is? Do you have an answer? I didn't have sex with a porn star, number one. Number two, that was a- Look at Joe Biden's face, he goes, ah, ah. Case that was started and moved, they moved a high-ranking official, a DOJ, into the Manhattan DA's office to start that case. That case is gonna be- Joe Biden's falling asleep, <laughs> We had a very uh, terrible judge, a horrible judge, Democrat. The prosecutor were all high-ranking Democrats, appointed people, and the, both the civil and the criminal. He basically went after his political opponent because he thought it was going to damage me. But when the public found out about these cases, because they understand it better than... All right, Donald Trump just totally, totally you know, went back at Joe Biden here. Joe Biden was speechless and he looked shocked. He looked like a deer in headlights. He looked like he just pooped his diaper. He does, he has no idea what these- He pooped and peed his diaper at the same time. Cases are, <coughs> but when, he, the, when they found out about these cases, you know what they did? My poll numbers went up way up. You know that because you're reporting it. <laughs> Look at Joe, he's speechless. Yeah, Donald Trump's poll numbers went up. He went up and you know what? You know what, Joe Biden? You want to ask Melania Trump what she has to think about all these allegations? She says, I believe my husband. Let's tune in. I know you want your voice to be heard on this. So a number of women have come forward. They've made allegations against your husband. Some of them go back more than 30 years. He has said they're lying. Do you believe him? I believe my husband. I believe my husband. This was all- And I do too. I do too. Melania Trump is smart. She's not a dumb woman. She is a smart, smart woman. Donald Trump would not marry a dumb woman, my friends. We need to realize that. My husband, this was all organized from the opposition. And, um, and she understands a thing or two. She says the opposition has organized this. So she understands what's going on too, guys. This is why we need someone like her back in the White House who understands what's going on. With the details that they go, did they ever, did they ever check the background of this women? Uh, they don't have any facts and um, even the story that came out in People magazine, the writer that she said that my husband took her to the room and started kissing her, she wrote in the same story about me that she saw me on Fifth Avenue and I said to her, Natasha, how can I, we don't see you anymore? I was never friend with her. I would not recognize her. So Melania Trump literally just proved that that was a complete lie. It's so funny because you, you realize the way that Melania is talking, that Donald Trump and Melania Trump, they talk behind closed doors about all this and they both know it's a complete joke. So I really like that Melania Trump is so 100% on board with Donald Trump, doesn't doubt him for a second, and understands that this is organized by the oppositions. That never happened. Never happened. That's why I sent them the letter, because it discredited the story. Right, you, she, your, your lawyer has sent a letter to People of, Magazine saying they have to retract. Yes, because it was not true. So how we could, how we could believe her? That never happened. I was never friend with her, I saw her she interviewed us twice. She came to the wedding and for that story. That's it. I would not recognize her on the, on the street or ask her why we don't see her anymore. So that was another thing like, you know, people come out saying lies and not true stuff. Has this whole campaign been harder than you expected? I mean, I, I know you said you came into this with your eyes open, but has it... Yeah, has it been tougher than you expected? I didn't expect media will be so dishonest and so mean. I it's crazy how dishonest and how mean the media is. It's absolutely bananas, my friends. I mean, you, you cannot, they cannot get a break whatsoever. They cannot get a break. And now, look at this. I wanted to show this little flashback, flashback footage of Donald Trump and Melania Trump as newlyweds because people don't share this. People don't show this. They have a beautiful relationship. Let's watch this. Uh, so now joined us. We got uh, to discuss the media. How did you two meet? Uh, we met in New York, um, 1998. It was a fashion week, September 1998. The famous fashion week. The famous fashion week. We were introduced. 
Well, no, we were both at the same party, and uh, that's how we met. He like came to right me. Away, I went crazy. I said. <laughs> Donald Trump and Melania Trump met at New York Fashion Week. What an amazing, cool story. It's such a shame, such a sham that Letitia James and Alvin Bragg are going after Trump because Trump, uh, New York literally was, you know, Donald Trump gave so much to New York and Donald Trump even met Melania at New York Fashion Week. So New York and Donald Trump have a very, you know, beautiful relationship and it's so bad that, you know, they're literally kicking him out of New York. I, it's, it's, so, it's so sad to see, but, but let's watch this. This is so, such a beautiful story. I was actually supposed to meet somebody else and there was this great supermodel sitting next to Melania and I was supposed to meet the supermodel and they were saying, look, there's so-and-so. I said, forget about her. Who's the one on the left? And I was more honest to be like, oh! So Donald Trump was set up to meet a different supermodel and then Melania Trump was sitting next to that supermodel and Donald Trump goes, yeah, I want her instead. Right away. It was a great chemistry and energy. We had, uh, you know, great time. He's, we started to talk and, you know, it was something was there right away. And it was a long engagement. It was. Why? Well, you know, we just had a great time and we didn't worry about it and, you know, just live lives. And then one day, surprise. How did the proposal take place? Well, we were together, to us. we were together five years. We literally have never had an argument or, forget about the word fight, we never even had an argument. We just are very compatible, we get along. Wow, that is beautiful, because you don't really hear that too often. A lot of people say, oh yeah, fights are normal, fights are normal, fights are normal. But Donald Trump, Melania Trump, they, they never even had one single fight. You know, and that was, all, it had already been seven years since, since, they, uh, since they got married, right? 1998, or since they met. I mean, they're... That, that, that's a, that's amazing. And I just said, you know what, it's time. And it wasn't a big deal. It was almost that's like it was obvious. It. You know what, it's time. No, I did, I did a little better than that. I, you know, without going into too much detail. But <laughs> it was time. And we just have a very good relationship. And Melania, by the way, is on the latest uh, cover, uh, the cover of Weddings uh, from InStyle Magazine. You're yes. The, you're the wedding cover. Mm -hmm. Why? And she's, and she's on the cover of Vogue. That's right. Also. That was before. Yeah, that came out before the wedding. A few did, days before. Did you want that elaborate a wedding? Yes. When I started planning, it was a lot of fun. Of course, they want an elaborate wedding. Who wouldn't? That's a beautiful, you know, life goal to have a beautiful wedding like that. Donald Trump and Melania Trump. They have a very beautiful relationship. This is something that Jill Biden, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton. I mean, they don't have this type of beautiful you know chemistry like like they like they have i mean they have such a beautiful relationship i mean take a look at at how you know how loving they are towards one another it, it's incredible and you know what guys it's inspiring to me let's watch this mrs trump it's a pleasure to see you and we don't see you that often you're not on the campaign trail how do you feel about campaigning you know what barbara walters if that if if that's your name Yes, that is your name. Melania Trump, have you ever heard of a little something called privacy? Not everybody wants to have their whole life on display, even though the media literally forces them to. It's okay to, you know, live a private life, be a wife, and, you know, take care of the family while your husband goes out and does the work. That's actually traditional marriage. Do you realize that, Barbara Walters? You probably wouldn't know that. Well, it's my choice not to be there. I support my husband 100%, but we have a nine-year-old son together. Exactly, and you know what? The best part is about being a man, working out, going, going out and working, coming home to your wife and family. You don't have to be with your wife, you know, at work all day long you know what they say is like, uh, it, it's it's not necessarily the best idea to work with your spouse to be there 24/7 with her while at work. It's all right to not be not have to be together and still have a loving marriage. A baron, and I'm raising him, and this is the age he needs a parent at home. Were you involved in the decision of your husband to become president? We discuss a lot. 
Yes, and uh, I encourage him, and you I, did? You I encourage, encourage him because I know what he will. Barbara do. Walters is sick. You know what? I used to grow up watching The View. What an absolute joke! You did. You encourage your husband. Like she's such a negative person. She reminds me of my neighbor. <laughs> my neighbor is so negative. I, okay, guys, little side tangent. I just planted some beautiful trees in my backyard. I was getting them planted, and my neighbor calls me up, Dylan, Dylan. She's texting me. I got all these missed calls. Dylan, Dylan, call me, call me. And she goes, she goes, you're not planting those trees, are you? I go, yeah, I am. She goes, well, you better trim. You better keep those trimmed. I'm like, okay. And she goes, yeah, I, I, I had those, I had those trees. I ripped them out because, because they're so. And then, and then the, the the neighbor across, she has the same exact trees I'm planting, and they look literally beautiful. They look stunning. And my neighbor goes, yeah. And then my neighbor doesn't trim theirs. You know, it's. Like, oh my gosh, some people are just so negative. Reminds me of Barbara Walters. <laughs> and I was like, so excited. I mean, I still am really excited that I got these trees planted. But I was like, some people just have no social awareness. They're so negative. It's like weird energy. I can't explain it. Like, so I was so excited to get these trees planted. I've been waiting for so long to finally get them. I spent all this money to get them, get them planted. Got it all coordinated, and then my back north by my neighbor goes, "You're not playing. You're not planning on. you not. You better trim those trees." I'm like, "Geez, maybe say, hey, I'm happy for you. You're working on your house." <laughs> like, some people are so negative. Husband to become president. We discuss a lot. Yes, and uh, I encourage him. And you I, did. You I encourage, encourage him, him because <laughs> I know what he did. You did. You encourage him. Yes, Barbara. Now shut up what he can do for America. He loves the American people and he wants to help them. Melania and her husband met at a party in 1998 where she caught the eye of the flirtatious Donald Trump. He came up to you, you rebuffed. Okay, that's enough of that. Sorry, I wanted to share, show you guys my backyard real quick. <laughs> because I wanted to show you guys the drama. So this is my backyard. I just got these trees planted and they're um, podocarpus, you know. A little, little small, but hey, they're supposed to grow in, they're supposed to fill in and be this beautiful, beautiful wall. And, you know, anyways, I'm just like, my neighbor was so, was like all mad at me. <laughs> and I was like, I can do whatever I want. And secondly, they're not, I don't know, these are like, I, I could go on all about this. But anyways, I wanted to also bring, bring to you guys' attention these articles that the media is running about Melania Trump, this is msn.com, and they're running, look at this, just today they posted these hate articles about Melania Trump. So weird, so strange to me. I, I saw this because I was doing my research for this video, I was like, let me look up what, what's, what the news is talking about Melania Trump. Somebody, they, they shared this, msn.com, by Queer T. Gosh, I don't even wanna, want to know what Queer T is, but anyways, they published this article, and by the way, it's, not, it's on Microsoft News, so it's not... It is Queer Tea, but basically what Microsoft does is they take these smaller articles and then they post them on their main site so it ends up on mainstream media news and Google, front page of Google. Anyways, absolutely nobody is less excited about Melania Trump being first lady again than Melania Trump. So they published this article, and again, this is the first article that comes up when you type in Melania Trump about how she's not excited to be first lady again. It's like, according to who? Because when I've take a look, taken a look at Melania Trump, she says she's ecstatic to be first lady again. Melania Trump holds the unique distinction of being the only first lady in modern American history who finished her tenure with a net disapproval rating. Her final approval rating upon vacating the White House in January 21 was 42%. All right, well, Joe Biden's approval rating, Kamala Harris is in like the 20s and 30s, so you can't say that 42%. That's just Democrats and a few Republicans who don't like MAGA. Anyways, her final disapproval rating was 47%. That's nearly half. That's great. <laughs> and in the years since, she has remained deeply, deeply unpopular. All this could explain why she reportedly has zero interest in returning to the role of FLOTUS, despite telling Fox News over a year ago that she fully backed her husband's 2024 ambitions. Exactly, where in the world does it say that she doesn't wanna be First lady again. And why Why is it allowed that the media, I mean, this is why Melania Trump was telling Anderson Cooper, she's like, I don't understand why the media lies and why they're so mean. 
So that was that one. Then they published this other one. Melania cuts deal with Trump about her future role if he wins the White House. Melania Trump is unlikely to take up the role of full-time first lady if her husband wins a second term, according to a report. According to what report? According to a report, she's not gonna be full-time first lady. What is she gonna do? How is she not gonna be first lady? She's literally going to be first lady. A Trump world insider told page six, okay, so a insider told a gossip in tabloid magazine that now the independent is reporting on, that then Microsoft posts. It's like all these, oh, someone said this, I said this, I said this, and now let's, now let's share it on the news and make a front page news article that she's, she doesn't wanna be first lady again. It's like, give me a freaking break, please, someone. And look at this. Melania Trump went on Fox News ecstatic about her return to the White House. So let's take a look at the actual source and let's prove the media wrong. Thumbs up these videos, guys, to see what Melania Trump actually thinks about returning. We are back with the Fox and Friends exclusive former First Lady Melania Trump granting us her first sit-down interview since leaving the White House. We met at her new home in Mar-a-Lago. Take a look. Being your First Lady was my greatest honor. Thank you for your love and your support. Melania Trump, thank you so much for joining us on Fox and Friends. Thank you for having me. Well, I think this is your first sit-down interview since being in the White House, is that right? It is. It is my first sit-down, yes. How is life, um, you know, since leaving the White House? Life is great and um, keeping it busy and, um, you know, time flies fast and uh, we are just, everybody's doing very well. We're here in beautiful Florida. What are your real thoughts on Washington, D.C.? I mean, your husband called it a swamp. It is time to drain. Oh boy. What does Melania have to think about Washington? Let's watch. I like Washington, D.C. Oh, the mainstream media says Melania Trump doesn't want to be first lady again. She's not excited. Well, she loves D.C. She, she fully supports her husband. I know it operates completely different than any other city. But uh, I really like it there, and uh, I enjoyed living in the White House. To be First Lady of the United States was my greatest honor. I think we achieved a lot in the four years of uh, Trump administration. I uh, enjoyed taking care of the White House. It was uh, my home for a while. I understood it, uh, it is a people's house. It was, uh, it was a privilege to live there. That's the, mo that's the most classiest thing I've ever s heard about a first lady talking about living in the White House and being first lady. So how could she not be excited to be first lady again? <laughs> she like talks about it with so much respect. She loves this country, my friends. We need to remember that. And maybe it'll be your home again? Uh, I never say never. <laughs> oh, wow, Melania Trump. I mean, literally, if you take a look at these tabloid magazines, look at this. Let's do a quick side-by-side. -side. Absolutely nobody is less excited about Melania Trump being first lady again than Melania Trump. Oh yeah, she's not excited at all. She, never say never with the biggest smile on her face talking about becoming, going back in the White House again. How insane is that? Now, Melania Trump, uh, I wanted to, uh, turn to turn the page to her religious and biblical uh, love for our Lord and talking about this um, message she had for America on the National Day of Prayer. I believe this was when she was First Lady. So let, let's watch a little bit of this because I think it very much rings true today and she also shares a Bible reading at the end. So let's, let's watch this. On this year National Day of Prayer, we are confronted with the challenges of an invisible enemy. One that can only be defeated through unity and our nation's strength, love, and devotion to each other. All through history, Americans have unified in challenging moments and during our greatest times of need, we always turn to prayer. Amen, common amen if you believe that. Melania Trump, she knows, she knows how powerful prayer is. And I think that's kind of our secret weapon right now, my friends, especially heading into this next election, to know that God has a plan and turn to prayer. Today, I want to ask all of you to unite 
and pray to protect and give strength to those. Yes, let's, let's unite in prayer and strength. We will return to our places of worship, reunite with loved ones, attend sporting events, and gather with friends to share some laughter. Our dear citizens, through prayer and faith, we will get through this together. Yes, we will. Yes, we will, guys. I am so proud of the way all of you have responded to this crisis. When we reach out to our Lord, let us remember, I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. God bless you all, and God bless the United States of America. Amen. Happy Fourth of July. God bless America and God bless USA. Philippians 4.13. I love that. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? Melania Trump and Donald Trump attending uh, church mass. I, I want to share some of these clips because I know the mainstream media won't. And I think this is important, especially heading into this next election, to just show uh, some of these clips of Donald Trump and Melania Trump heading to church. You know, they are prayerful people. And we need to remember that these are, these are people who actually care about uh, God, who actually care about Jesus, remember. How cool is this? Thumbs up these videos, guys, and share them on Facebook. Beautiful, beautiful. How classy, how classy. I really hope these guys come back in, in the White House, guys. I really, really do. Really, really do. I wanted to share this uh, little quick clip. This is Donald Trump and Melania Trump uh, attending the funeral for Melania's mother. I thought this was a very beautiful uh, video. I wanted to share with you guys. Let's watch this. So sad, so sad. We all know that Melania's mother was a beautiful, beautiful woman. Such a sad, sad day. But the whole family came together. But I'm, I'm glad that the, the family was able to come together. Now, this is Donald and Melania arriving at Chirp on Trump's inauguration day. Uh, a little flashback from uh, 2016. But hey, maybe this will come again. But yeah, I wanted to watch this. I actually hadn't seen this in a really long time. I don't know if I've actually ever seen this, but they actually did a church on Trump's inauguration day. I believe this was before the inauguration that they actually went to church. And I don't think a lot of people even covered this story that they went to church on inauguration day. Did anybody cover that story? Cause I certainly hadn't heard it. Look how cool this is. They went to pray to God, pray to Jesus before he became president. How cool is that guys? Really, really cool walking into church, dressed so classy. So, so classy. You will not see that with Joe Biden and Jill Biden, even though they go to church and claim that they're Catholic. And Joe Biden is one of the most, you know, uh, heavy advocates for abortion. And even the, the, the Catholic church banned Nancy Pelosi from communion because of her stance on abortion. Pelosi receives com communion in the in the Vatican despite her home archbishop refusing it. So Nancy Pelosi, her and her husband went against the teachings of the church, uh, actually went against an order of the church saying you cannot receive communion because of her abortion rights stance but she ended up going and receiving the communion anyway. What a joke. And a lot of people are saying that Joe Biden should be banned as well for his stance on abortion. But the Catholic 
bishops have ended up, you know, avoiding this. Be I'm, ass I'm assuming because he's just because he's president. Uh, Donald Trump and Melania Trump, they are, uh, you know, they they are very much um, respected, respectful towards God. They said, "Remember, Sunday is National Prayer Day pre by presidential proclamation." Donald Trump says that. First Lady Melania Trump recites the Lord's Prayer. Let's watch this. Hallowed by thy name. Hallowed by in heaven, who art in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed by thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. After the prayer. The Did they cut her off? They cut off the prayer. The First Lady offered her own pledge to act in the best interest of all Americans. Wow, that's interesting why they cut her off. But let's watch this. This is Melania Trump and Donald Trump's prayer requests. And others, a lot of Christians. What, what do you want them to pray specifically for you about? What, what, what do you need prayer for, if you will? That's what we say in the evangelical world. So if you want to pray for Donald Trump and Melania Trump, listen up. This is what they're saying that they want, they need prayers for. Well, we always say help. Health. Health is the most important. Because if you have health, you could keep going, keep fighting, and uh, do the best uh, for the people of America. And uh, he's planning, and we are planning to do that if he's elected. What do you think? I would really say pray for the country. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can lead this renaissance because we're in such bad shape. Mm -hmm. Owing $20 trillion, nobody even knows what it means, $20 trillion doubled under Obama. So many different problems we have, including ISIS and including lots of other things. I could name them. I could sit with you for two hours and just keep naming things. I would say I would like them to pray for guidance and to pray for our country because we need prayer now almost more than we've ever needed it before. Mm. Wow, what beautiful words. And I love how Donald Trump and Melania Trump, they are not afraid to talk about their faith. They are not afraid to talk about, you know, what, how much they believe in God right now and how much they actually, you know, consider how powerful prayer is. Donald Trump and Melania Trump attend the White House National Day of Prayer Service. This is beautiful. Look how amazing they look, my friends. Thumbs up the video, guys. They're holding hands. They love each other. Despite the lies of the mainstream media, this is an amazing, beautiful couple. On this National Day of Prayer, let's take a moment to extend our deepest sympathy to the families of those who have lost their loved ones. And I wanted to end the video just sharing uh, some of these beautiful images that I've found of Donald Trump and Melania Trump be uh, standing before the altar, and especially this one of them kneeling together be before God and how beautiful is this is this photo of Donald Trump and Melania Trump together at church really recognizing the power of God and in this they surrender to God I don't know about you but this is a couple that I will trust to be leaders somebody who who bows and kneels before God thank you for watching my friends take care God bless